Verdun was one of the biggest, costliest, and most hyperbolic projects taken on by the federal government at the time of its construction. This dam, located near Las Vegas, Nevada, was built in a rush because of the need to control the volatile and unpredictable Colorado River. Construction was started in 1931 and completed in 1935 by Six Companies Incorporated, which was a company formed by, you guessed it, six companies from surrounding states. It took 21,000 workers, 200 engineers, and an architect to complete the project. An artist and around 30 tile layers were also hired to complete the interior of the dam after general construction was finished. All in all, this project boasts approximately 4.5 million yards of concrete and gravel and weighs over 6.6 .6 million tons. The bid to complete the project came in at $48,890,995.50. The project itself brought in people by the thousands, creating a problem before construction even started. Las Vegas more than doubled in population, overwhelming the city and six companies. They were ill-prepared to accommodate so many workers as well as the families they brought along. This resulted in horrible living conditions with a work environment that wasn't much better. Consequently, 107 people lost their lives during the project. Perhaps the biggest problem six companies faced was the cooling and curing of the concrete. They had a process to expedite the concrete delivery, but realized if they used this process, it would take the dam over 100 years to cure, and it would most likely crack and fail. In order to solve this problem, they devised a system of cooling pipes for the concrete to be poured over. These pipes had water from the river, and eventually from a cooling plant running through them. This would allow the concrete to cool and cure more efficiently and soundly. Despite numerous problems and slip-ups along the way, the Hoover Dam was completed two years ahead of schedule. This project was not only an engineering marvel, but was also economically beneficial by employing thousands during the Depression. It is as important now as it was back then for river diversion and energy production. Still today, the power plant supplies the energy used by the neon lights of the Las Vegas Strip. Through collaboration communication, all involved were able to create one of the largest accomplishments of the time.